Okay, so I came across Marketing Boost, I think it was early March of 2019, so a little less than a year ago. And basically how I came across it, and I think it was, it was through, uh, through Andy's Facebook targeting. Um, so I, I love to travel. Um, so I, I'm known as what you know, many in the industry call a travel hacker. And so basically what that is, is I, I use credit card points and convert them into airline miles, hotel points, be able to travel for almost nothing. So um, when I first saw Marketing Boost, it really intrigued me on you know what it was. And when I first you know you know read the guide and looked on Marketing Boost, I, I really didn't know what it was doing. You know how how they're able to give away these free vacations and things like that. But after kind of doing more research, getting into the Facebook group, asking questions to the group, um, Andy to Marco and to all the other members. Um, I felt like this was something that I could really use to help my restaurant business. So for those of you that have worked at restaurants, you know, as a server, or maybe as a cook or not, um, restaurant industry is, is very cutthroat. It's not, it's not an easy industry to be in, uh, very low profit margins, and also a lot of long hours and hard work. But um, I, I got into the restaurant space just because I have a huge passion for food and I knew that it was something that was needed in the market that I'm in. So I'm currently in, in Utah. So Utah is a growing market. It's actually um, one of the fastest growing economies here in the United States. And um, you know, I saw an opportunity a couple of years ago. I told my parents, hey, I'm gonna quit my job. Let's, let's open up a legit Korean barbecue restaurant. And uh, my parents were, back then, they're they already doing sushi catering. We're the largest sushi catering company here in Utah. And you know, after, after several months of kind of looking at different spaces and things like that, we finally said, okay, we'll find a spot and let's, let's get started. So, so we started our restaurant a little over two years ago and it's been going super well. So um, it's just based on time, I'll kind of go over on a couple of things that I've used Marketing Boost for. Um, I've, I've used a lot of tools in the past, uh, like email marketing. There's, there's some other companies that provide marketing tools specifically for restaurants, but none of them have really presented or given me a really good ROI on the money that I've put in as much as what Marketing Boost has done for me. So uh, first thing I'll talk about is kind of boosting takeout orders and delivery orders. And I've also shared a couple of these things uh, on Cancun Mastermind, uh, but there's also a couple of things that I added in uh, that I've kind of taken away from the Mastermind, kind of implemented uh, since I've gotten back. And then the next thing is boosting catering orders. So not just in a restaurant only, but also uh, increasing orders when I'm going out to do sales calls, taking food to different companies and offices to be able to boost those orders, and then boosting uh, dining patrons as well. So um, this is a screenshot from last year, but just kind of doing takeout ordering. We didn't do uh, much of that since we're a sit-down restaurant. You know, we have table-side service. So all the servers will, will bring everything out to the customers. For those of you that have done Korean barbecue before, um, if you go to a, a like legit really good Korean barbecue restaurant. They'll have grills on the table and you know, servers or waiters will bring out actually raw meats and then you'll cook it on the table. So kind of a kind of hibachi style in a way, but actually you're going to be the cook. And so it's a lot cheaper than when going to a hibachi or a teppanyaki style restaurant. But, uh, but I started promoting advertising, uh, well, marketing boost. Yeah, it's not called marketing boost now on, on, you know, on the takeout orders, you know, through social media, through my email marketing channel and, this is kind of some of the results that I've seen about 10 grand increase. This was between a period of, of May to August. So definitely not like mind blowing numbers uh, just because we're, we're such a low ticket for our table side service. So our average ticket is anywhere from 25 to about $40 per table for two people. But, uh, but still it's for, for us as a restaurant, this is huge just because, you know, we're, we're pinching pennies and average restaurants, you know, a successful restaurant will make anywhere from five to 10% of their revenue as profit. So this is definitely huge for us. Um, so delivery, um, I partnered with uh, Grubhub and DoorDash. Uh, we've also since partnered with Uber as well. And with those guys, you know, to boost delivery orders, because what this does is, um, of course, you know, we'll have more orders in the kitchen, but this will alleviate, you know, the wait time for customers uh, since we you know, have a huge line you know, for people trying to sit down and eat at a restaurant because we do, like an all-you-can-eat style type restaurant, the customers will come in and, and they'll stay here from anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours. And so since we sit only about 150 people, um, delivery has been huge for us. And so 
what I've done is I've promoted, you know, marketing boost um, for our delivery customers. And I, I don't really promote this too much on social media. Um, I, I do a couple of lives and tell people, Hey, if you do this, I'm going to, if you order delivery through DoorDash or through Grubhub, I'm going to surprise somebody with a, with a vacation. And so, so we get a ton of people ordering through there. But um, the nice thing about DoorDash and Grubhub is most of the times we'll get customer information on there. So um, at the same time, we're, we're gaining new customers. And once the customer information, like their name and their phone number, um, I'll take that and then I'll use that towards my marketing um, on a monthly or a weekly basis that I'll send out. So I'm getting leads as well. So I can encourage those customers to keep on coming back and hopefully they can dive in instead of just going through DoorDash or Grubhub as those guys take a percentage of our revenue. So on the bottom of the screen here, I'm showing you kind of like a, a personal message or personal note um, along with a small gift, uh, which, which I did the vacation, a Las Vegas vacation incentive. And I'm focused mainly on Las Vegas a ton just because it's only about a five hour drive from, from where our restaurant is located. So it's kind of super easy access to get there. Um, just drive down, you don't have to fly or anything like that. So definitely the best uh, promotion I've done through Marketing Boost is all through Las Vegas. Um, this is a uh, catering. So I kind of took a snippet of uh, my bank account as well as some, some sales from our, our mobile point of sale, which we use Square. Um, we do mobile catering orders, but on the bottom here, this is our largest client. Um, it's called Podium. So they, they just went public. They're, they're valued. Uh, I think they just got investment of like 200 million last year. So they're, they're growing like crazy. Got about 700 employees there that we cater for on a monthly basis. And so, um, so basically when I do the sales calls, you know, if, if they're pushing back, you know, I'll, I'll kind of present them, you know, with the marketing boost with the, with the vacation to Vegas. Um, and usually the decision maker is a small little, you know, blonde girl sitting in the front because she's the administrative assistant and she does all the catering orders. And so she's the one that you have to get to, to be able to get these orders. And so, so this one order right here is a $10,000 order. And so it's, it's huge for us. And so um, it's just one day, one time lunch deal and $10,000 is something that we would do on a, a week weekend night, which is our biggest night of the week, but just doing it just for lunch on a slow day, like a Monday or Tuesday is huge for us. So, Every time I do sales calls with food, if there's pushback, I say, all right, let's, let's work something out. If you, if you sign with us for a year, um, so in this case, podium, you know, for, for a year, that's almost, that's well over a hundred grand, right? hundred grand contract, food contract to do their food deliveries. If you sign with us, you know, I'm going to award you with a, a Las Vegas vacation so that you can go with your special someone or with your family and your kids and go out there and help them out. So. Anyways, this is kind of one thing bam. that we've done. I have to jump in and say bam on that. <laughs> yeah, it's, good. it's really good. Yeah, so it's, it's definitely awesome. So for, for restaurant, this is amazing for, for what we've been able to do with this. Um, and then, so social media, this is uh, a post that we did with one of our partners, another local company just about 10 minutes away from here. They're, uh, they sell a special, like a specialty Fijian drink. It's called Kaivai. So uh, for those of you that, have Polynesian friends, um, they drink what's called kava. It's kava is from a, a kava root, and it's a very bitter drink that basically will numb your entire mouth. And it's kind of like a substitute for alcohol, but it's not really alcoholic. So if you haven't tried it yet, um, definitely, you know, go to Fiji or go find your nearest uh, mixing bar. They call it kava mixing bars. But anyways, these guys, Kaivai, on, on Instagram, we decided to do a promotion together with a Las Vegas vacation giveaway. So basically what the giveaway was is going to give two cases of Kaivai, which retails for about eight bucks a bottle. And also like a hoodie, as well as, you know, teriyaki chicken dinner here at Yummy. So for two people, so dinner, and you get the drinks, plus a Las Vegas vacation giveaway. So this one was, was huge. It blew up like crazy. On both ends, on our sides, you know, we had over 500 likes. We had over 1,200 comments. Because one of the things that we asked, you know, customers or potential customers or followers to do is tag their friends or tag their family or tag coworkers. So the more tags you get, um, you get more chances of winning. And then we had all, them also do Instagram stories. So for those of you that are familiar with Instagram, Instagram has stories that'll pop up on the top of your screen and you can see different stories that'll show up. Um, and so basically we had a 
thing, a story that they could share and they duplicate and just tag us as well. And so all their friends would see that. So this is pretty much free advertising for us, right? I mean, teriyaki chicken dinner for two at Yummy's. I mean, of course it costs, you know, about 25 bucks, but for me, it only costs maybe five bucks out of pocket. And the Las Vegas vacation voucher, you know, through my membership through Marketing Boost costs nothing pretty much. And then for, for my friends at Kaibai, the two cases, um, that was pretty much nothing to them as well because that's that's their main business that they do. So um, so we've gained over 200 new followers for this. And, and just, just because of this that I've recently done, um, I'm partnering with another company as well. Um, it's down the street. They have close to 4,000 followers. So um, they'll be doing this uh, next, uh, sorry, not next month, uh, tomorrow as well. So so just just some things that you guys can think about for social media. Um, I know I'm not saying you're going to get, you know, tens of thousands of new followers instantly, but a couple hundred here and there uh, will definitely convert to customers later on. So hopefully you can still see that as, as leads. I know with, with Alex and with, with, with all the other insurance agents, you know, getting leads through with their name and phone number and things like that. That's, that's awesome as well. And, and that's what I'm trying to focus on next steps to be able to get those information. Um, but being able to do social media and keeping people on tabs, going on there on a daily basis and posting is definitely huge for, for any business. So this is one of my uh, email marketing campaigns that I use. Um, and so the, the title was basically of this email, just you know, hiring a lunch server plus you know, vacation giveaway. And so for this uh, email campaign, I think I got like a 35% email open rate and I don't have a ton of emails right now. I have about 2,500 people in my list, but these are all local people everyone that's local to me here uh, about about a five mile radius and so i'm still growing that list and hopefully i can continue to grow that and my goal is hopefully to about five thousand by the end of this year but um, i sent this out so a couple hundred people opened this and we had a huge response to this vacation giveaway so if you look um the next next email i know i know we're not supposed to give away the vacations like candy so sorry sorry greg but um, what I was doing was I was trying to get a ton of people to come into the restaurant at the end of the year. So end of the year, what's hard is here in Utah, a lot of people go on vacation. So uh, Disneyland is the hottest spot because there's, there's a ton of families here in Utah. People go out to Disneyland, uh, go out to Disney World or go out to California or even Las Vegas. And, and because so many people go out, not only people, a lot of people will come to the restaurant. So what I did was I did a promotion for a Las Vegas. I said, dine in at Yummy's. And between, it was only a couple of days. I think it was just three or four days. And I think it was after Christmas to the end of the year. I said, dine in at Yummies. And if you dine in, send me an email of your receipt, and then I'll award you with the vacation. So I, I took a screenshot on the left-hand side just showing some of the Las Vegas hotel vouchers um, that people have requested. You know, they sent me the receipt. So this is on the right. You know, one customer that showed the receipt, and they sent it over to us, and they spent 80 bucks. And... So this brought in a ton of ton of new revenue from us just just from this single promotion and so um it's it definitely works guys and so i'm not saying you know do this because i'm because me being in the restaurant industry it's it's a little bit different i have to find unique ways to be able to to target my audience and get them in the door or spend money uh, catering is another side but also dining in is a little bit more difficult just because there's so many different options when eating out but uh, this has definitely worked really well for us. And so this was the first time I kind of did this promotion. And so this was just a couple weeks ago that has worked really good. And then did some next steps as well. This is what we did, did in Cancun as well, just kind of next steps on what we're going to do. So um, I'm still working on the automation of sending out the hotel savings card. I'm actually working with Fair. He's helping me a lot on that. Um, so doing that through like social media giveaways and trivias and then continue to increase our catering. So last year, just to kind of give you an idea of how much catering we do, we did $200,000 in catering. And, and that's, that's not a ton compared to kind of that one client that I just showed you, Podium, which we've done over 100,000 almost last year. And so, um, but my goal is to hopefully double that this year. And, and that'll definitely, you know, increase our sales and, and give a less burden on a restaurant staff as well as our restaurant space as well. And then the third thing that I'm, I'm looking at doing is doing charities. Um, these are events and promotions using Marketing Boost. So um, what I've started doing is reaching out to local schools. And so I have a friend here, his name is Big Buddha. And so he's, he's big on the local news channel. So he'll go around 
different businesses, help promote them, different schools. And he, he reached out to me actually mid-December and he said, hey, can you donate to our high school football team? And, and I get asked this almost literally every day, just can you donate 500 bucks, 500 bucks? And, and that's a ton of money for a restaurant, which we don't have a lot of profit anyways. And so since joining Marketing Boost, um, you know, I've, I've told schools and especially nonprofits and said, hey, here's what I'll do. Let me donate some hotel vacation, you know, vouchers for you guys. And I've, I've learned this through Alan um, while I was in the Cancun Mastermind. I said, no, let's, let me give you some hotel vacation um, vouchers and then auction them off on a silent auction at one of your, your charity events. So what happened with my friend, Big Buddha, so it's East High School out in Salt Lake City. Um, what they did was I gave them 10 um, vacation vouchers for Las Vegas. And from those 10, he raised $6,500. I know the value is up to $650, but because it was supporting the high school football team and just the families and the friends that were there gathering, gathering at that silent auction, they raised $6,500 just on the 10 vacation vouchers. And, and this is something I learned on the mastermind. I never thought of it before, but just, just learning about it and seeing other people doing it, I tried it out and it, it made waves over there. And they're so grateful for that. So it's, it's been awesome. So, 